hello thank you for stopping by i appreciate it thank you so so much thank you please if you haven't subscribed could you please kindly click the subscribe button if you have subscribed gloria chizu is saying thank you i just made them um, this video now as a live um, video but i saw a question someone was asking me please um write it out or list it out so i decided to remake it as a normal video because not some people don't like um, not everyone that gets to see a live video like that you understand and the video is important and good so let me remake it if you always lack money or people don't favor you or you don't make sales people don't love me and this that those that that and that now before i proceed a lot of persons think that it is only when someone gives them money that is when they are favored you may be doing some of these natural things and your business is moving that is the favor of god you understand so don't center your mind on people giving you money alone no favor comes in diverse way god almighty and the universe knows what you need at the right time it could be a job that is another source of making money visa contract all those things they are favor now what do you need get sea salt original unadulterated sea salt this is what i have here um in my live video i try to explain how you can differentiate between original and i'm um, sorry refined and unrefined sea salt refined sea salt are all usually completely white that is one of the ways to know refined sea salt please be careful so you don't get what it's not then get this i call this native salt i don't know what it is called this also has fake it also has fake the way they some persons may just go get the conventional salt and mold it and call it native salt no it is not but in case you have been wondering how do i get this please search my number in the comment section or search my number to get these ingredients i will mention and believe me you are getting the original ones when you get your sea salt get your native salt get your sugar you have a brown sugar red sugar and <laughs> um, brown sugar white sugar cube sugar please use it sugar is sugar as long as it is sugar get your block camphor depending on the quantity you are preparing either one two or three is enough one two or three is enough if you are preparing this um this jar with six of this native salt six then this camphor is in pieces three or four is okay mix it um you're going to pound everything together if you want or find a way to mix 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 the native salt um sea salt your camphor and your sugar together now the next thing you'll be needing is either of this oil this is called sarsarobia oil sarsarobia oil and this is called cis flower oil either or both depending on how you're able to get it now like i said earlier anything i mentioned here except for sugar you want to get it my number will be in the comment section now how do you do what do you do with this after pounding and mixing the solid ingredients together with the sugar salts and block camphor you write your intentions write your intentions and put it inside it you pray um write your intention start by thanking god then you write your name i um, I am uh, Gloria Obuna, the daughter of um, Nkechi. Then you write, you write your intentions. Just write your intention and put it inside your mixture. Now, what do you do? Which is optional if you, uh, if you cannot get it is get a green candle, purify it by washing it with salt. Purify your green candle by washing it with salt water. Then write your intention on the candle. You can use either of this oil to beautify the candle how do you write your intentions some persons ask oh there is no way i can write and it will be straight line on candle it doesn't matter 
it is your in, um, energy we are energy what you have in mind is already going into the candle as you're holding it just right right on the body of the candle then burn it beside your mixture if you want to put it off the candle you mustn't allow the candle to burn down completely you want to put off the candle don't blow it like this no tap it to put it off now when you're done with the candle take your salt pray into the salt thanking god for creating nature you speak your intentions pray pray you understand then you breathe into it three times Now, what do you do? How do you use it? You can drop a little of this mixture in... Okay. The oils, after pounding your mixture, before you write your intention and put, and before the candle, mix a little of these oils into the mixture. Mix a little of these oils into the mixture. Sorry, I forgot. How do you use? You can drop a little at the edges, corners of your house. You understand you can use it to mop your house use it to mop your store your um your business arena you can also if your goods permits you maybe you wash your goods with water you can put a little into it and wash it prayerfully then you can sprinkle it in your office in your shop on your goods and again how to use it on yourself after having your bath, get a little bowl. Get a little bowl of water. Add some of this mixture into it. Now, please, lest I forget, this is a favor work. Um, love, sweetening, or how do I put it? Always cleanse yourself. It's very important because if you don't cleanse yourself, you are getting it wrong cleansing is very important so that when you are using anything that has to do with um favor attraction money love and all these things so that it will work for you so always make it a habit to cleanse your soul how do you use this mixture on yourself after having your bath if you can put it in your bath water, but reason why you shouldn't put it in your bath water is, you know, we all bath with um, a big quantity of water. So you can imagine the quantity you put before you get to test it and realize that you can feel it. You understand what I'm trying to say? That is why it's good. You have your normal bath with sponge and soap. Then you get a little bowl of water, add a little of this mixture into it, pray into it, speak favor, speak blessing into it. And then pour it on yourself. Pour it on yourself. But with just pour it. You don't need sponge and soap. And you can also use this mixture to just wash your face in the morning before you step out and all that. Do this prayerfully, believing God that it will work for you. And watch how perfectly it will work for you by God's grace. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you.